This is another attempt to use a Barack Rosenshine's um, list. See how it says Barack Rosenshine, right? It was mentioned in an article in American Educator, spring 2012. If you look up Rosenshine, you can also find it under UNESCO. So, what we're doing is we're giving a large number of questions and we're limiting the amount of material a student receives at one time. That's why this video will be less than five minutes. When you have two sets of parentheses, which one do you do first? Well, it really doesn't matter. You could do this one and then that one. That's okay. Um, it's the order that you process after the parentheses. So well, let's just see what happens. We've got four times four, and they got a squared, right? So that's going on there. Then, let's see what we can do over here. Way over here, I want to do something, right? That's a hundred minus 121. Right? And we're multiplying that by six. So, this will be a negative 21 times 6, which is a negative 126, right? All of this is negative 26. And we're adding the, the negative 4 to it. Oh, wow. So now it's negative 130, all that, right? Look what's happening over here, right? Oh, what is happening over there? Well, it's 4 times 4 times 4. You guys who remember this kind of thing, isn't that 64, right? 4 times 4 times 4. Um, some people jump at that. So uh, we know it's 4 times 16. So 4 times 4 is 24. That's 64, yeah. 64 minus 130. Okay. So we got 66. Negative, right? Um, 130 minus 64, there's a 6, and there's a 6. Does that make sense? Thank you. I hope you see the value of getting this wonderful checklist. Again, look for it online. Go American Educator Spring 2012 Barack Rosenshine.